And we're starting tonight uh, with some Christmas present ideas that we're not interested in. Absolutely. Here's something I'm not interested in. It is a tie. It gets worse. It says Skoda on it. Um, <laughs> it's revolting. And that's why it's for you, Jeremy. Oh, you, you bought me a present. Ooh, yes. That's really very unpleasant. Not as bad as yours. Oh, you no, no, I don't tie. want a tie with Skoda yeah, on it. That's... <laughs> there we are. Let's got rid of that. What have you got? Uh, well, now, you know parking sensors? when you can have them fitted in the back bumpers of cars. If you've not tried it, it's just like a little radar, so as you reverse up to something, it goes beep, 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 and tells you how close you are so you yeah. don't hit it. Well, there's now a company that's making an aftermarket version. Because when you have them fitted to a car, they're like three, four hundred quid, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Well, here's an aftermarket version. This costs 15 quid. <laughs> Right. What are you going to trust to that? Well, you see, it is a worry. 15 quid with the plastic and you're trusting your car. Not only that, but I looked at this a bit more closely and it turns out you don't attach this to your car. You attach this to the thing you're parking next to. Well, how does that work? Well, I don't know. I presume you sort of pull up, um, park, get out, stick this on whatever you're parking next to and then park. Again. Now, I think yeah. it's probably, isn't it, for your garage wall at home, so you know how close you are yeah, to it. Yeah, it is, but there's another thing. It's, it's battery-powered, so at some point you are going to come home, the battery will be flat, and you're going through the wall. That's going to happen. <laughs> you know those mail-order catalogues, yeah? Yeah. Well, they always wave goodbye to the misery of whatever it is. Well, you can now wave goodbye to the misery of putting the wrong type of fuel in your car. Because you know diesel's really quiet now and it's easy to forget. Well, there's a new thing, okay? You open up your petrol filler cap, light gets in there. When light hits it, ready? This vehicle runs on diesel fuel. <laughs> time you open the fuel filler. Every time you do it, how much do you want this broadcasting across a petrol <laughs> forecourt? No, I mean, I'm a tight one, I've got a diesel, that would be me. Does it go on? It didn't even opt for leather, it's a cheap, awful... Oh, that's ridiculous. Anyway. That'd drive you insane. Insert diesel fuel. Insert diesel fuel only. <laughs> Entertain yourselves. <laughs> I think you've made it... you've made it angry. <laughs> Shut up! Shut it! Shut up! Does it... does it come with the mallet? Oh, no, no, that's part of it. Hey, now. Anyway, right, I've got you, James May. It's a big mm -hmm. present, this one. Right, you ready? I've yep. got you a fridge with a motoring flavour look because I put a steering wheel on the door. So, OK, it's now shut, oh, yes? Thank, thank, thank you very much. With that, OK. So, look, it won't open, yes? Right. But then if you turn this, it's modelled on a submarine door because it's important with a submarine, you know when a door's open or shut. All the way over and then it opens. Can you see? Yeah, I can see. Well, how brilliant's that? You've bought me a solution to a problem that only you have. <laughs> That is the worst Christmas present I've ever had. It isn't. How can it be? Why because is it? Because you bought something for yourself. No, you did that last year. You bought your girlfriend a Ferrari that only you were insured to drive. <laughs> you did. You no, know, I bought you this. And I, it's just, you, no, no one else could drive it. That's chivalry. Is it? Yes. Well, I think that's just been a total disaster, Conversation Street. It was awful. He bought us nothing. Yeah. You I bought, bought you a present. You said, <laughs> shut up. I bought you, made you presents you don't like. No. All right, let's move on. Now, have a look at this. This is uh, an electronic device. It's called the Quick Start. It costs £9.99. Um, you stick it in your cigarette lighter when you're driving in France, and when you turn the car on in the morning, its little electronic voice reminds you to drive on the right. That might be useful if you're Reasonable. a bit thick. Sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a complete waste of £9.99. When you get up in the morning, all your luggage has been stolen from the boot and your car's just a burnt-out shell, you'll know you're in France anyway, so why do you... <laughs> so you don't need it. It's a fair point. That uh, is a fair point. People that were making all the sort of perfume and the, the, the leather wash bags that were going to go with it, you know, Bugatti-branded stuff, got bored with waiting, so they're all starting to launch the stuff. And the latest, right, is this watch, OK? This is a Bugatti Verion watch that I'm wearing. Very nice. OK? Well, now, you can't see the face there because when you hold the steering wheel, OK, like this, <laughs> see? That's that. where the face is. <laughs> because when you're holding the steering wheel, if you don't want to look at the, uh, the clock on the dash for whatever reason, <laughs> you can look at your wristwatch 
without taking your hand off the steering wheel. Hey, that's, that's... Guess how much it is? No idea. A grand? One hundred and forty thousand pounds. No! No! And it's absolutely hideous. <laughs> the ridiculous thing is, is that time to do it up, it took three men. Three men to help me put it on. I was like, how does this clip work? Because honestly, it just, you do, you need a butler to tell you to work that out. That's 140 grand for a watch commemorating a car that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> and never will exist. That's amazing. Oh, we get literally no letters a week, uh, every week, from people saying, look, I want to go to work, but I want to leave a trail of blue and red smoke in my wake while I'm going along. Yes, it's not easy if you can't afford a red Arab or if you have no ability to fly one. However, help is now at hand from Japan, where they've come out with these. These tyres, they say, if you spin them, will emit coloured smoke. <laughs> yeah, now the thing was, is that this morning, to test this out, we bolted some of those tyres to the back of a TBR, put the stick in it, and this is what happened. There he is, look, and away he goes. Oh, look! <laughs> Now, we are told... That's like a red arrow. It is. We are told that these tyres do affect handling and performance somewhat, and braking. <laughs> oh, yeah, but what a way to arrive at work. Yeah, look, look at the stick. He's, he's sort of enjoying himself in there, is he? Look at him. <laughs> That's a happy stick. I'm a red arrow, I'm not a stick. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> About, uh, what, 200 quid a pop, aren't yeah, they? they? 200 are. quid. So if you want to do that, there you go. They could use those when they need a new Pope. What, when they have the coloured smoke? Yeah, up the chimney. What, so you get some little Italian pikey in his Fiat Uno in a fireplace somewhere in the Vatican? Is he ready? Yeah, right now! <laughs> <laughs> now put Angelina back. Mm. You're a Porsche enthusiast. Yes, I am. So what I've got for you here is a Porsche design training shoe. Oh! oh, oh. oh. 300... And ten pounds. Presumably, uh, if it's a Porsche, the laces are extra. Oh yes, and the soles, <laughs> and this bit. Sir wants two shoes. Oh yes, if you want two <laughs> shoes, that's one thousand nine hundred. <laughs> and at some point in the evening, as things are warming up, maybe you're going to want to dim the lights, and that is where ah, this comes in. It's a no. Bugatti dimmer switch. <laughs> no. She is going to operate that and immediately take an interest in what you will look like naked. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, it is, though. At some point, she might... Oh, dear, she might say, I've broken a nail. But that's OK, because this novelty nail clippers, there you go, in the shape of a car. Look at that. <laughs> you could try and change the mood. Would you like a cup of coffee, my darling? And here it is, in this piston mug. <laughs> I have a gear stick toothpick for the lady. What, that's a toothpick? <laughs> well, only if you get asked to ransom back to your yeah. flat. <laughs> <laughs> Or Janet Street Porter. Either way. Yes, no, actually, on the subject of Janet Street Porter. Ah, now, Rich, would you like some pussy? <laughs> well, it wasn't on my mind right now. It is now. I, uh... Pussy energy drink. <laughs> I see. I did what one... flavour is it? Flavour? <laughs> Leave it. You are a Mercedes fan, are you not? Then? Yes, I am. So I'm sure you'd be very interested in the shirt Mercedes are encouraging their customers to buy this year. And uh, I've got one for you here. Here is the Mercedes shirt. It's a vest. That with truck. <laughs> it's not a Mercedes. Well, look, it's a vest. That is. It's a vest with truck. It's not on Mercedes. It. it is, mate. Look, it says Mercedes. It is. On the... Yes, that is. It's the, the Bruce Willis look. <laughs> Yippee Kaye, mother trucker. That's yeah, what they're. Grab C Nesbit. Beer and egg yolk stains are extra. Look I would it. rather have that than a Porsche car. <laughs> really? I will produce your steering wheel clock. Oh, wow. And this will tell her the time and that you're a motoring enthusiast. Oh, no, no. Uh, or maybe she is a sophisticated and would like a glass of Chablis. But that's okay because you can put it on this tasteful sorry, steering wheel coaster. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if she doesn't finish the Chablis because this gear stick stopper We'll keep it fresh until another lady comes Slick. round. Slick! Slick! Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No Bacon way. air freshener no. in your car. That's a proper idea. That is, now, this is genuinely a brilliant Christmas present idea. Let's just pop it open, and then we shall invite people to smell... Can I smell that? It's bacon. 
Just... <laughs> yes, bacon. Uh, seriously, seriously. It's not fresh bacon. I actually think that this could cure vegetarianism. <laughs> what if a vegetarian gets in your car and that's dangling? No, want a meat pie in a jiffy. Brilliant. <laughs> now, if you do get a toothy woman back, you might want to show them this, which is... It's a model that you make of an internal combustion engine. She's going to be wow. Yes, now, here's one that I made earlier. Uh, there um, we are. You draw the lady over, she's seen your dinner switch, and she can see the pistons going up and down. <laughs> Look at that, and you can see the spark plugs flashing if I push that light. Look at that. Oh, mate, that's going to work better than a dozen oysters. Oh, she's yeah. going to be hot. She'll be pouring the ground by now. Oh, it's working. Would that do it for you? You are in for a whole night of suck, squeeze, bang, <laughs> blow. <laughs> what? Is that, is that the right order? It is for that. <laughs> but we have got a few ideas we, we thought we'd share with you. Uh, starting with this, which I found the other day. It's um, a mobile phone holder, uh, or as Richard Hammond calls it, a seat. <laughs> put that in my charger, that's nice. <laughs> it's just perfect Hammond size. Yeah, there and everything. Yeah. Now, you know, if you've got something like a Ferrari or a Porsche 911, the thing to have is some red calipers showing through your alloy wheels and your yeah. shiny disc to show that you're a driving god. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it works so well as a set of drinks coasters. Oh, I don't no, know. I, I like bug to differ with you. No, I think they're fantastic. Hey, yeah, cool. Cool. Look, I like that. No, those That's are right. vulgar yeah. and ridiculous. And if you no, buy we them, like you're an those. idiot. We like those. I'm vulgar and I, I'm proud of that. Um, now, uh, Formula One drivers, as we know, they're not exactly underpaid. Michael Schumacher, $80 million paid over the last year, which makes you wonder why he agreed to be paid presumably about 20 quid to put his face on this piece of tat. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an horrendous <laughs> What a, I mean, presumably they gave him 20 quid and maybe a clock. Yeah, but in fairness, they have managed to get a square head on a round face. <laughs> <laughs> It's why there could never be a David Coulthard clock, because it would all just <laughs> swell out here with his, with his jawline. Yeah, no, talking of uh, Formula One racing drivers who don't need the money, check this out. This is a Jacques Villeneuve air freshener that I've got for you here. Now, I've taken the liberty of getting one out. The idea is, is you put uh, this crash helmet thing on your dashboard, and then you load it up with this, OK? And then you just tap it on the top, and your car smells of Jacques Villeneuve's helmet. <laughs> oh, now, you know the beach, OK? You know the beach, always been a great level. You go down there in your speedos, no way of telling when you've, whether you've got an Aston or an Austin. Not anymore, thanks to this. It's a Porsche bucket and spade set. Yes. And you even get, look, like, so you can make a little sand cayenne with it. Do you know how much this is? Do you know how much the driver? Six quid. Fifteen quid. Whoa! Fifteen quid for a bucket and spade. That's rubbish. If you're a kid, you've got it wrong there. What you need is one of these on the beach. I think so. Look at that. <laughs> you see? You come out the sea. I'm four. There's my Porsche. And look, it's got dials in there and everything. I think that's fabulous. No, well, it'd be all right. In, do you know the Sandy Lane in Barbados? They'll all have those this year. Except for the ones that have got the Zonda ones. I was going to say, some kid will pitch up in a Zonda. You can guarantee gonna it. Go. I'm going to get rid of that, yes. No, while he's gone, have you seen you can convert your fridge, if you've got a standy-up fridge, you can convert that into a petrol pump? Yeah. Have you seen it? No. There it is. <laughs> Why would you want to make your fridge look like a petrol pump? I don't know, but those bits stick on. It doesn't dispense petrol. It's still full of mouldy milk. Hey, when you've got a decorated cheese. fridge, it says, Emily is a wee and a poo on it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> Anyway, I have the gift here for Christmas, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> check out, check out the badge. That's a Ferrari badge on my dressing gown. <laughs> so he takes you home in his Vauxhall, pops into the bathroom, comes out in that. Bit of Chardonnay on. It's even got a hood. It has. Look at that. <laughs> I know I look good. How much is it? 50 quid. Would you buy that? Of course he would, look at him. <laughs> have you got a Ferrari? You haven't got... You've turned up in a Ferrari shirt. What car have you got? A Volkswagen Jetta. <laughs> <laughs> How many Ferrari owners go around with a Volkswagen Jetta yeah. T-shirt on? <laughs> and that is the end of the news. Yeah. I have got some Bentley... Espresso cups and saucers. <laughs> What do you think of no, that? No, I quite like those. I like the colours. Are, no, they're not they're the colours. They're horrible. They're too thick. Look they're at not, them. Ah, they're not. Because espresso cups have to be thick. 
They have to weigh 147.8 grams. Says who? Italian coffee scientists. <laughs> That's a, that is a fact. That is pretentious twaddle. It is, it is. Just try it in a restaurant. I'll call the waiter over. Come here, my man. <clears throat> I think you know what I'm going to tell you about... <laughs> <laughs> ..about this cup. It's too heavy. But it isn't too heavy, that's the point. It is too heavy, it's too thick. Look it isn't. That. You could hit that with a hammer and it would survive. Well, and that's a bad thing? Oh, <laughs> don't hit it with a hammer. <laughs> I was wrong. I was actually going to take those home. No, you can. You can, actually. There you go. There's your set of uh, three Bentley espresso cups and saucers. <laughs> and you get a spare saucer in case you break it. Nice! A spare! It's a good present, that. And that brings us onto something we have over here. Now, in this plastic suitcase is a folding electrically assisted bicycle. It's called the Gokical. Uh, James, it... I think you'll find it's called the Go Cycle. Not well, the Gokical, well, you it idiot. Says... <laughs> that says Gokical. Anyway, never mind. It costs uh, £1,200, and as you can see, it is. Oh. <laughs> because. <laughs> I, I thought it was a folding bicycle. It's a bloody bag full of bicycle components. <laughs> Have I got to build it? Would you like me to give you a hand with it? Oh, that's the most terrifying thing Jeremy Clarkson can say to anyone. No, I don't you're having it. No. I wonder if maybe you two should go away. Yes, good idea, because this is not the only post-Copenhagen solution. Oh, no. uh, Hammond, what oh, have yes. you got here? I have this. What it is, is a skateboard for people who can't be bothered to skateboard. <laughs> so I'm just going to get it all started up because it is electrically powered. Now, this device... So what's that? This device controls your speed. Well, why don't you give that to me and I'll control no, it? No, that's the most terrifying thing you could possibly no, say. So I know, I'm gonna, really no. going to ride that? Yes, I am. I'm going to do it now. What this has, apparently, has like a curse system. Now, how something without... <laughs> How something can have regenerative braking when I can't see how the brakes work, I don't know, but it works! Oh, <laughs> this is much better. Uh, it was designed by a man who wanted something uh, that would combine his love of cross-country skiing and his love of cycling, uh, and then converted to run on batteries by someone who didn't like either of those things. It is quite pricey, uh, £1,600, round, round about the same as a uh, 1999 5 Series BMW, but it is quite fast, top speed, 15 miles an hour. <laughs> Hello. It's, yeah, mine's faster. I promise you, this is quicker. All right, then. race. Race? See, well, come on. Anybody want to see a it? race? Yeah! Okay. One no, lap nothing. back to here. Okay. Lap of the studio. Okay. Yeah? Three, Three, two, two one, oh, God, go. I've got, got wheel spin. Oh, God, I've got a I'm lot off. of wheel spin. So come on! on. <laughs> come on, you stupid yeah. thing! I'm a 40-year-old man taking up skateboarding. Come on! I've got grip, I've got grip. I've got grip. I've hit a cool wall. James, are you still working on that thing? Yes. Do you want to go on this? No. It's great once you've got the hang of it. No. Yeah, that's yourself. I'll Actually, go. I'm a bit bored with Listen, the gokical. I'm going to go and introduce Jeremy's film on the BMW X6. Now, normally, of course, he would go and drive it in a sewer or blow it up or something like that. Unfortunately, Richard Hammond spent most of what we had left on his... <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry. Now, um, you know how dogs like to stick their head out the window and uh, uh, in the car? Yeah. Well, we've been sent these for Top Gear Dog in case we ever take her in a convertible car. Yeah. And so she doesn't get anything in her eyes. They're the latest thing. They're called doggles. You see, <laughs> the, the dog puts them on and... and they they're, go. they're not doggles. They're normal goggles with a G crossed out and a D written No, no, no. They're no. goggles. They're not because they've got a special bit there, you see. So you can put them on and then she hooks that bit around a collar. Then she can take it off and then whenever she wants to, she can just put them on like that and... and... How's she going to put them back on again? Well, <laughs> they'll have to invent new dog thumbs that they <laughs> strap onto their paws and then they can... Let's see what she looks like. Come on, let's Talk just it, put them on, see put if they fit. On. Um, <clears throat> don't know how these... Oh, are. yeah. <laughs> now, I've got a safety thing that I want to do. Oh, good. Yeah, no, look here. It's, uh, it's this green thing. <laughs> and it is? It's a hearing aid. Funky hearing aid. I'm oh, deaf, nice. but I'm funky. Look at that. 
It's a special device for making you look like a total burk. Yeah. It works. The thing works. Is, is, you put it on your head while you're driving along, and then, if you nod off, you fall asleep, ready? <laughs> wow, Jeremy, that's so yeah. well done. I think that's safe. Just, just before we get carried away, though, I've spotted a couple of drawbacks with oh, this. Yeah. You're driving along, you want to change radio channels. <laughs> You want to get something out of the glove box? Yeah. I'm I, not sure. No. I, do you know what? I think you've messed it up. Oh, turn it off. I think you've messed up again, and I think that's your second safety mess up. This week, we went on the internet, and we found this Porsche design website, OK? Now, it's full of all the stuff you'd expect. They've done briefcases with Porsche written on them, wallets and pens that you can buy for three quid anywhere else because they've got Porsche on them, they're three and a half million pounds each. And it's all full of that complete rubbish. And now we've, we went into smoking tools, and we <laughs> discovered... <clears throat> for the Porsche enthusiast. Boy, have you got to be an enthusiast. Designed pipe. <laughs> These are real, genuine. They, they cost quite a lot of money, but they come in four different colours and different structures. <laughs> <laughs> I've spun off in my Porsche. Look at that. <laughs> Mine won't start properly. No, of course it will. It's a, it's a Porsche. Persevere. No, what are you doing, man? No, other, other way around you. Ah. It's a 911 Porsche. Hot bit goes at the back. <laughs> You don't look right with that, but have you noticed <clears throat> over my shoulder? <laughs> look at him, I've never <laughs> seen him. <laughs> with the chair, the pipe, we're building up the perfect picture for you, mate. I think next, next I'll week... I'll tell you something. You see, he's pointing. <laughs> I haven't actually got anything to tell you, but I just wanted to point at you with my pipe, like pipes, mate, and I'll tell you something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's not gone well. <laughs> they are... <laughs> Jeremy! Hold on! Jeremy! <laughs> Who were we? <laughs> Can I... Can I just get quite clear? What you just did, as a grown man, was light a pipe and put the wrong end of it in your mouth. <laughs> what are you like on bonfire tonight? <laughs> you bloody idiot. That isn't the end of the news, but we are ending it there. It's time now. Anyway, we've had a go at making some Grand Tour branded stuff. Oh, yeah. But here's the thing. We haven't gone for the obvious stuff like jumpers and mugs and umbrellas. We've gone for things that other people haven't thought of. Mm. Things like this. Hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> We all need it. I don't. No, I don't either. Well, this is mine. <laughs> Bought it for £2.75, but now it's got Grand Tour on it. We could sell that for £20. <laughs> Tell you what really good idea we've had um, is, is condoms, OK, which have been... Well, they've been branded with well-known expressions and phrases that we often say. I'm going to demonstrate using this... Whoa! <laughs> you flatter yourself, sir! Au contraire. <laughs> oh, really? So we simply roll the condom yeah. over the rolling pin. Here it is. There's the GT logo coming up. <laughs> and on the other side, how hard can it be? We're very pleased. Pretty damn hard for a man of my age. We're, we're very pleased with these. Various of our slogans have been used. I'm going to put mine on this uh, disappointingly small carrot. <laughs> Um, and it bears one of my expressions. Uh, I can't. Don't bite it. Well, I can't open the thing. Can I? Use I can't my no, there's, a, there's one of those little strip tear things. Hold on, love. I'll be with you in a minute. No, no. <laughs> no it's... Look, you're not going to be here to help me when I'm using it, are you? <laughs> you don't know. Oh, you might don't. Be. I'm pretty sure you, you won't be. be. No, no, it's <laughs> quite the wrong thing to say. Are you in? Yeah, I'm in. Can what? I have my glasses. <laughs> Can I have my glasses back? No. No, I want my glasses back before you start right, hang on. messing around with sex things. Oh, right. Let me just. Ooh, it's a bit baggy. I've actually torn it with my teeth, which makes the, the slogan on it quite appropriate, really. That's not gone well. <laughs> Can I just say, that is by far and away the least erotic thing I have ever seen. Don't used. tell me that's not an unfamiliar sight. <laughs> oh.
Oh, you have, have you done one as well? Of course I have. Very sensibly, I put mine on earlier. Whoa! <laughs> Branded with the GT logo and my own personal catchphrase, I was the first to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> now, the next problem we face, and this is a big one. You know when James is telling you something and you start to feel drowsy? Oh, God. <laughs> yes, it's like you've had a whole bottle of red, five portions of shepherd's pie in front of a fire. Yeah, and it's embarrassing. <laughs> it is embarrassing. Yeah. He's in the middle of a story and you nod off. It's awkward. OK, it is awkward. However, it's all going to be solved with this. £8.99. You clip it on your ear, OK? Right. <clears throat> Get sitting still. James, mm. explain talk. Talk? Mm -hmm. Talk is fantastically simple, Jeremy. It's just a, a force at a distance. That's why it's in pound feet, for example, or newton metres. So... <laughs> <laughs> it's waking me up as well. What's the point of that? I can hear it. It is, actually. Now. I'd rather be asleep with his lectures. No, they also say... <laughs> they also say it can be used for drivers. So when you're driving, you can have it on your ear, and then if you're not off, it'll wake you up. But, and this you'll love this bit, it says in the blurb it could be used by airline pilots. What? Oh, really? That's some comfort, <laughs> isn't it? It's reassuring, I think. Yeah, mid-Atlantic thinking, well, it's OK because the fate of me and all these other souls on board this jumbo jet lie in the hands of a £7.99... £8.99... £8.99... I don't actually know how much a Boeing 747 costs, but I'm pretty sure the price isn't something 99. No, it is. There's a component on it that's something 99. Besides, can you imagine if they said, right, an announcement now from the flight deck? Ah! <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! It is a stupid idea. <laughs> it is a stupid <laughs> idea. Now. I have another gift suggestion here for Christmas. Are you fed up with people bumping into you in a crowd situation? Yes, I oh, am. Yeah. 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 yeah, well, I have the solution here with these. Small, ear-mounted, human indicators. I you kid are. you not. Oh, this is... I have to just... Right, what happens is, I'm walking along, say, in a shopping centre. Here I am, in a shopping centre situation. Oh, you'll be the crowd. OK. Now, there's a danger of jostling happening here, cos I'm going to go in that shop on my right. Yeah. Well... Uh, it... You can indicate! <laughs> so now you know, and you can take evasive action. And you can go left? Yeah, if I'm going... I might go... Actually, I fancy the record shop over there. <laughs> Everybody uh, knows what's happening. It's a very good gift. Human indicators. Would anybody here like to hazard a guess at what this is? It's what? How can you know that? Have you got one? No, I've got. This lady knows the answer. This is a she wee. <laughs> yeah, they're with you. They're with you. They're with you. No, though, you're with me. The idea is, okay. That if you're on a long motorway journey, desperate for a wee, you undo your trousers. Ladies, this is. <laughs> ladies. This is ladies. <laughs> it comes with a little bag. I'm disturbed by what I'm seeing. <laughs> and you fill it up. <laughs> the only thing is, OK, the literature here, the literature here, OK, it says it can also be used in, uh, on aeroplanes, <laughs> on ski lifts, and look at this one, while queuing. Queuing? Queuing. <laughs> what, in the post office? Yes. You know, does anybody here want to see, any girls, want to see if they can have we in this bag without the person next to them noticing? <laughs> what I like is if you read through the marketing stuff on the box, there's a lot of kind of, yeah, feminists, go on, go girls, you get it because men have had this for ages, it's your right now. And then it goes on about using this thing to we in post office queues yeah. and wherever else. As if they imagine that those of us who've had one for years, it's like a natural he-we that we're born with. <laughs> well, I've had that for 38 years and I've never got it out in a post office queue to have a win. <laughs> um, so, anyway, we haven't got time to get through all of it, but I want to start with this, right? Now, perfume, as we know, is a very popular Christmas gift. Uh, big names, Givenchy, uh, Chanel. Now, look, the RAC. <laughs> The RAC has launched this. They're calling it Eau de Voiture. Oh, sounds popular. <laughs> what you do is you spray it into your car, and as you can, it, it makes it smell like a mini cow. Oh, it's quite strong. <laughs> Sweet, Wilson. Have some of that. <laughs> you know, it, but it is like a mini cow. Because it smells. Oh, <laughs> Lies! I can't... <laughs> you cretin! You <laughs> blind! <laughs> The thing is, it's what it does, and I've really got a lot of it now, is it's one of those smells that makes you think it's covering up other smells. You're like Femme Fresh. <laughs> yeah. Look at these! These are little remote control cars that have been sent. Now you turn them on, they make a bit of a din because, for reasons we can't work out, 
they stick to vertical surfaces and then you can drive them about. Now, this is great, okay, this is fantastic. Except, of course, us three decided to see how big the range was. <laughs> Earlier in the week, we decided to try them out by seeing how high up the side of the BBC we could get them to go. <laughs> so, if you were watching the one show last night, you probably saw this, okay? Because they're in the, the office above us. With every other kind of store, uh, uh, try uh, really look. hard at this time of year to stop us counting the pennies in favour of throwing financial <laughs> 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 We'd like to say to, uh, sorry to the, uh, the one show for ruining your, uh, ruining your show like that. <laughs> now, now, is it me? Yes. We're so rubbish at Christmas. <laughs> what have you got? Starting with this, OK? It's an eco-calculator uh, from Renault. Now, you charge it up by doing this. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with solar power, personally, but... Oh, I don't know. I think some people just find this sort of thing comes more naturally to them. <laughs> Renault think it comes naturally to their customers, as it is. <laughs> so there you are. That's that. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's a fork on one end and a 10 millimeter ring spanner on the other. <laughs> and the best thing is, there's another spanner in the middle. Look. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this means you can go seamlessly from mending your motorcycle to eating a pie without even pausing. Because what you need for your tree are some Lamborghini baubles. Perfect. <laughs> Christmas is here. But that gets cut out. I bet it does as well. <laughs> Which is a good thing, because I can take does. those home, because I quite like them. Okie doke. <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry, I dropped it. Sorry. I dropped it as well. <laughs> they all wired into everything. everything. Happy Christmas! Like the who. Happy Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Marley was dead. <laughs> Everything's ruined. If this is how your Christmas day went, sorry. That was a proper Christmas day, I think. Everything's broken. Right, here's a great one for you. This Bugatti aftershave. Mm. Yeah. It's, 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 well, guess how much? Well, it's Bugatti. It'll 60 be... quid? No, it's Bugatti. No, no, no. It's good. It's, you know... 150 quid. 1,500 quid. What? Yeah. yeah. What is it? it? It's, well, it's, it's got, it's, 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 Does this make Richard more attractive? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, it's, Careful what are you your getting? Hairstyle. It's quite nice. Is it's anybody nice. getting, hang on, I can tell you, is anybody getting? Give me some, then. Some of, uh, I want to go home smelling like a you get it. Well, Where can do I you tell you something off? else? It's 1,500 quid and they lent it to us. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Do you want some? Here, put some on. Yeah. You might be able to lose your virginity then. <laughs> Happy Christmas! Look at him now. Get in what there. A gift he got Get in there. He'll never smell as good as again. What does he smell of exactly? Well, it's an original fragrance shrouded in mystery with underlying notes of patchouli, <coughs> cedarwood, and vetiver. They say, they say it's timelessly <clears throat> elegant. Excellent. But it, it is because it comes. With, there's more for your fifteen hundred quid because you get this. The, <laughs> Look, see, it's like a sculpture, and it, it comes with this handy carbon fibre carrying case that you put it in. <laughs> so, no, as you go through your day, it's light so you can carry it around. <laughs> and if you're thinking, oh, pits are getting a bit whiffy, I could do with a squirt, you can, uh, you can deploy Get it. Get it out, and away you go. Now, smokers, are you worried about the excess space around your existing pink metallic ashtray? <laughs> Yes, and are you a motoring enthusiast? If so, worry no more, because you can now fill that excess space with this plastic, disc brake and caliper themed ashtray surround novelty. What is that? Look at that. What's Who thought that? pink and red would be a good idea going to go? Do you think that's his biggest problem? You were like thinking, you're worried about the colour scheme. Chaps, you know how difficult it is to choose the right calendar. Because obviously you choose it now and you've got to live with it. It's, a, it's a big commitment. It's it is. Year. Twelve months yeah. you have to live with it. The unofficial... Oh, yes! <laughs> Who did that? Look, it's, it's awful! Unofficial. unofficial. Yeah, you can have it, James. You can have that. I've got loads. 
Why are you drunk in all the pictures? <laughs> well, I don't know. It looks like all the pictures were taken coming out of awards ceremonies. So, yes, I probably was drunk. Do you know what I really love about that calendar most of all? Because it's unofficial, you all go and buy one. He receives not one single penny. <laughs> well, no, well, no. And thank you for publicising it. Yeah, that no, is really. Kind of just make like sure they've all got it. There we go. We'd like to cal- recommend this calendar. Everybody, go and buy it. Get rid of the calendar. I hate it. Let's do the rest of the show like no, that. Does everything get broken in our Christmas thing? <laughs> now, moving on. So we thought we'd give you some gift ideas. Uh, and we're going to begin, if I may, with, uh, with this, uh, which I've got down here. It's a, it's a travel rabbit. <laughs> now... <laughs> no, no, I think... Obviously, what you do is you plug it into the cigarette lighter and then this little chap, he, he vibrates and he jiggles about and, uh, you know, his ears like that uh, and it amuses the that's passengers. Smashing. I think that's rather nice. That's a lovely gift. That's a Christmas novelty. I think that's rather nice. Land Rover are taking a very pragmatic approach to the Christmas gift idea and they have produced this. It's the Land Rover Distress Whistle and it will cost you pound fifty. Now, I just want to paint the scene for you. You're in the wilderness, in your Land Rover, and you drive into an impassable gully. You become stuck. It starts to fill up with water. You're out of food. You're almost out of fuel. You cannot get a signal on your mobile phone, and you're bleeding heavily from a severe abdominal wound. But it's OK. <laughs> if I was there with you in that situation, and you produced that whistle, I would beat you to death before you... <laughs> I don't understand it. Well, yes. That's a thousand pounds. Yes, it is. Made your armpits. It's quite strong. It you is lost quite the virginity strong. yet. <laughs> Got some more. He's gone really red now. That means there's no blood left to go anywhere else. Look at this. Wow. Yeah. No, well, no. You say wow. OK, this is some packaging. You know the sort of packaging? You're going to sever your fingers getting in there, OK? But it's worth it because when you get in there, you've got this metal thing. Then you get underneath your car, use what fingers you have left um, <laughs> from opening the packaging to attach it to your exhaust pipe, and then it makes a noise which fools other road users into thinking that your car is turbocharged. <laughs> is, it, is it like that wastegate noise when you lift off? So it goes, when you Do it again. <laughs> Yes, it does that. Well, you could attach you, it would be easier. No. That's not really going to fool anybody bolted onto my panda, is it? Whatever sort of noise it makes. Have you ever thought, oh no, my shoehorn is far too heavy? Yes. <laughs> Every single bit. Well, I haven't got one, in fact. Well, uh, help is at hand with this special lightweight carbon fibre ended shoehorn. You, they put carbon fibre yes. on a shoehorn? It's very light. It is. <laughs> What the stupidest thing I've ever seen? <laughs> you could put that in your dungeon, James, I just thought not We begin with this rather brilliant tray, which apparently is the ideal place to put your laptop or your breakfast. We have a picture of it in action here. <laughs> <laughs> I can million. see a couple of problems with that. Yeah, I can too. What else have we got? Well, now... Never mind clever stuff you'll be able to buy in the future. Let's look at some gadgets you can get hold of now. And first up, this. Now, I've... I think this this is going to be an exceptionally useful thing. It's basically, yeah, you've guessed. I know it's, what that is. You can send messages, you can put it in the back of your car, parcel shelf, and you can program it as a control somewhere, and you put messages in to these, people. I've always wanted one of these. I've wanted one of these for years. Well, you know, I, I think of the things use. you can write. Yeah. You get on, and Gentle I'm going to program stuff. a message in here. Right, this is, um, this is an alarm, which is nice. It's got a little um, Formula One car in there. It's a McLaren, I believe, and uh, it, it does this. I just want you to imagine it's... Let's say a one-night stand and, and time for your alarm. <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning. It's definitely a one-night It's really, stand, but better still, <laughs> you, can then, you can then lean across and say, ah, if I press this accelerator... That's not a noise you want to have in your bedroom, is it, at yeah. seven o'clock in the morning? My I've advice got... is just leave it. <laughs> I don't believe this. We've broken every no, single gadget. No, 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 this is a disaster. It censors your message. What? It censors your message. It doesn't really. No, look. Watch. Hammond is a... <laughs> <laughs> if you write a swear word in, it goes, you can't have that. Jeremy, that was a piece of I clever technology. Cunt. And <laughs> the first thing you thought of to do with it was swear. Genius. Have a look at this. This is... A car driving along. 
Oh, wow! Whoa. Look at Audi. Look at that. How does that work? No you idea. You can write that it's on your that. wheels? That's witchcraft. I does don't it censor, it. can it censor that? Or can I write, <laughs> can I write whatever I like on that? <laughs> What's that? Well, if it's anybody's a stereo. Having, no, this is a stereo. You put your CD in it in the normal manner, but it then memorises the contents of the CD onto a hard disk like you'd have in your computer. Well, and like an MP3 or an iPod. Very much so, but it's ordinary CDs that you put into it. It memorises it like a jukebox, and that's it. It's in. You don't have to carry the CDs around with you. And mine would never be stolen, because I could put a sticker on the windscreen saying, this stereo contains traces of Barclay James Harvest. <laughs> <laughs> That one of those. And all those people with no! their hats on back to front who want drum and bars, <laughs> as I like to call it. <laughs> and we're getting it off. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. That is a really. Can we steal it's, that as well? Have they yeah. sent it as a demonstrator? Oh, they never probably. want those back. Yeah, I'm having that. I wouldn't imagine so. That's brilliant. What's this rag? Oh, uh, this is no, very no, this, clever. This is good. Let me have a look at this. Now, this is a shirt. It cost £2,000. 2500 Sorry, £2,500. It's made of a special material with some sort of metal in it, and effectively it irons itself because the heat from your body, even if you've scrumpled it in your suitcase, um, it makes it go... So it's, it's, sales it's for reps. Yeah, it's you for put it sales in your car. reps. You just put it on, drive up the motorway with the heater on, and ten minutes later, iron shirt, and it's got aftershave smell in it as well. Ridiculous. It's, it's small size. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> go and try it on. We want to see if it works. Seriously? You can try it on and go come away. Back in a minute go and, and put um... that on. And even if it doesn't work, boy, we're going to have a laugh at you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be guys. better than that thing you've got. Go on, go and find a changing room. Thank Actually, you. don't. Go and help him. <laughs> right, that's got rid of Shorty. That's good, because there's only two of these I things. know they are. And this <laughs> is what I arrived on at the beginning of the show. Thanks for that. Basically, you can stand on it, even though it's only got two wheels, because it's got a gyroscope, which Whoa. was made by British Aerospace, which balances you. And then if you want to go forwards, you just lean forwards, and it goes that way. And then I brake by leaning backwards, and then go backwards again. It's completely simple. It is. Whoa, and brilliant. then you can do this. I'm a dancer. And, and then some, uh... you can just turn your handlebar that way to go that way. And they're made Ooh. in America, of course, <laughs> so that fat yanks can go to the fridge without expending any energy. <laughs> well, how much do they cost? Uh, two and a half thousand well, quid. Started about two and a half thousand quid. The trouble is, they're not actually legal in Britain. You can't use it on the road because it's not registered, and you can't use it on the pavement because you can't ride it on the pavement. The thing they're worried about, of course, is that pretty much any idiot could go out and buy one of these. Anyway, um, has that man got that shirt on yet? I don't know. Is he here? Hammond? <laughs> <laughs> so, Hammond, are you hot? Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> am I hot? I'm in a room with 300 people, a thousand lamps, and I'm wearing this. Yes, I am. Does I it work? I climb in an Argo, that would be hotter. You do well, look a little um, bit like D'Artagnan, but shorter. <laughs> I've got you uh, another present here. Look at that, an alarm clock. Made it must it's beautifully styled. Right, it's, I'm going to set no, it. No, it's all funny, it's crashed, I see. Yeah, it's a ha, crashed ha, upside ha, down car on top, that's why it's yours. <laughs> right, I'm just setting it now, there you go. Now, pretend to be asleep. What? Don't oh, worry, oh, just right. pretend to be asleep. This yes. is on your bedside okay. table. I'm asleep. <laughs> oh, there it is. Nice! <laughs> it's going off. Come on! <laughs> I can't have that. That'll, that'll just set fire. You've got my glasses. That'll just set fire to everything on my bed. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God! <laughs> it's not me that's on fire this time! I missed. I haven't got my glasses. I can't wake up to that every morning. When you're driving along and your car catches fire, which you will because you'll have crashed it, <laughs> You'll be used to it, because you have to put a fire out every single morning. Yes, I won't have slept for a year waiting for an explosion next to my bed. Stop going on and moaning about all the presents we've it's given you. It's traumatising. Look, 